Hey everybody, I have a new mod video from Empire Pinball. I'm installing the Pin Graphics Power Blades in my new Munster Premium pinball machine. Now this one, I have to put a disclaimer, do this at your own risk. You are going to be working around AC power, 120 volts, so please be careful. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull open the back box and in the lower right hand corner you will see a cover. This one. It is held on with three nuts and you remove the nuts, pull this cover away and what you're going to be hooking up is the power wire pin graphics. So this end will go into a female Molex connector supplying 120 volts. This connector is kind of hidden in this little bundle and make sure the machine is unplugged from the wall before you even touch that box in the back and remove the screws to, to pull the cover off. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect this Molex to this Molex and this is getting your AC power to the inverter box supplied by Pin Graphics. So then what we'll do is we're going to route the other end of this cable and that plugs in right here to the Pin Graphics inverter box. You're going to plug that in like that but before we plug anything in we're going to run this cable through the hole of the back box into the cabinet and then we're gonna put our cover back together and covered before we go any further. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on and we will go underneath the play field and situate our wires. So now we can go to the cabinet and you wanna make sure this is clean. And on the newer Stern games, the Munster Pin Graphics Power Blades has an extra little bit of material here, which poses a problem because it hits this nut right here and also the backstop for the play field on the cabinet there is a bracket it used to be a wood block but now it is a metal L bracket you actually have to loosen that so you can get the back edge underneath that bracket because if you line it up right to the bracket you're going to have extra material and it's going to bunch up and I'm not sure if you can cut these power blades or not to trim them so what I found is if you remove the nut in the front, nut in the back, loosen up the backstop on the side of the cabinet, they fit perfectly. And also, this alignment tab for the play field needs to be loosened. So this, the lower part of the pin graphics power blades can slide underneath this little alignment finger. So let's go ahead and loosen some screws and do a dry fit. They also recommend you remove this, this screw and washer. That's usually for on location so these screws don't back out under heavy play. From what I've been told you can run without this screw and washer because the power blade is going to go over this area right here. Make sure your cabinet sides are good and clean and also Stern does give you some wiggle room on either side of the cabinet with the play field so you can get almost a quarter inch of gap in between the cabinet and the play field and that is just enough room to dry fit your power blades and they will go something like that and you want to leave about I don't know four millimeters or five millimeters of gap underneath the rail for the glass because you don't want to have it up to the rail because it could catch and tear it. So I usually do just a little below. So you kind of dry fit 
And let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. I am up underneath the backstop in the back. So now what we'll do is the adhesive back, we'll start peeling this back. And you wanna do it in sections. So we'll start right here. You're gonna make sure the dry fit. The back, we are underneath the back plate and kind of lined up. And we'll start making sure we're lined up. Once we're happy with that, just a little below the glass channel, just temporarily kind of stick it. And this stuff will come up. You can unstick it if you make a mistake, so don't worry too much. So next, lower the play field down and then you can continue installing your power blades. So on the back side there are a couple of pieces of tape. You want to go ahead and remove those now. And this can be a little tricky because you want to get underneath this bracket on the newer Stern games. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of the backing off. Now we'll just press it into place. So I actually had to repeel this a little bit because it was riding up a little bit here on the edge. So we'll just finish pressing this out. Okay. So now we can go ahead and tighten up the two screws for the playfield backstop. All right, side art is installed. New power blades installed. Next up, let's go underneath the playfield and connect up the inverter box to the two ribbon cables and this thing is good to go. We are back on the underside of the cabinet and this is the inverter. It has two female ribbon connectors. They match up with the power blade male connectors. And it does not matter which one you plug into, they both do the same thing. And you'll notice there's a key or a notch out and there's a little key right here. So you can only put it in one way. That's one side. And the second side. So based on the length of these cables, I think I'm going to put the inverter box somewhere right there. And then I can just kind of tuck these cables out of the way. So the inver inverter box will be about right there. We'll grab our power, plug that in. And there is a power switch right here. So you just flip that on and they come on when the game comes on. Or you can have the option to have them off if you don't want them on. So we'll go ahead and turn them on. Set it down here and I'll probably put some Velcro or maybe I might put a screw to hold this thing down since it's right next to the speaker. It might vibrate a little bit, but we'll try that for our initial setup and see what it looks like. All right, there they are installed. Looks really good. Really adds a nice little pop of color to the premium black and white Munsters. Let me see if I can kill the regular lights here. There we go. Kind of get a better idea of what they do. Wow, looks great. So if you're interested in power blades for your Munsters Premium or any Munsters machine, these will work on the Pro, Premium, or LE. Go check out Pin Graphics Power Blades. Hope you liked this tutorial, and remember, mod at your own risk. Stay tuned for the next video. Please like and subscribe.
keep flipping.